Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to see the counter up and counter down function. So here we go. We are in the our programming window and let's go to the bottom and we we select the counter here and we take a counter up function. CTU underscore one we have taken. So, firstly, let us understand the function itself. So, this is the input where you, uh, you need to give the input to your counter that will trigger. And this, this section is for the reset, reset to this your counter. And this is your value. This is your uh, preset value which you will input here. And you can take the output from this q and uh, this you can neglect okay so we are taking ld m0 so okay. 25 here and ld m0 and ld m1 i will take and I will take <coughs> out M5 from this and this CVW I will take let uh, D0 okay and I will convert my program and start the simulation wait for my program write to the plc and let register this to the watch window 1 and also the m1 to the watch window 1 okay we are good to go we have the preset value 25 and this is our input which will trigger my counter I will select M1 from this and I will turn this on. So my counter up is counting. Okay. I will turn it off and turn it on again. So it is like counting. And the same uh, your counting you have taken in the register also. D0 is your register. Okay and i will stop here because it will take me a lot of time to manually enter the value here so i will go in write mode and i will take sm8012 so this sm8012 if you don't know so you can watch my other video i have already made a separate video on this and I will build my program and I will write the changes to the PLC. Wait for changes to write. Okay. So, this you can see. So, my counter has uh, completed and my output is also on. Okay. I need to press M1 for reset this counter. So, I will just reset reset this counter okay and i will turn this off so as you can see my counter is working really well okay and i will again go to the right mode and i will take uh, uh, take input from this this bool output so this q so i can also take the output from this i will say ld and i will just enter my counter up here and take the q out output and when this is done i will let's say set uh, t0 to k20 okay so this i will take out 
P0 K20. 20 means for the 2 seconds I will take this. When this is done, so this will enable this uh, uh, CTU underscore 1 dot Q and after 2 seconds this P0 will be on. So, this P0 is a timer and I will take here when my T0 is completed, LD T0. So, I will mm, I will reset this counter. Okay. I will reset my counter. So, I will take out M1. Okay. So, I have taken one input from this this q when this uh, my uh, counting is completed and this this q has enabled so uh, i will take uh, i will run this p0 for 2 second and after 2 second this m1 will be enabled and ultimately from here uh, this uh, counter will be resetted and this cycle will run again and again okay so let's build this program and write the changes to the plc write the changes to the plc and wait for some time and just minimize it and you can see this is counting up to 25 and after this my output is enable so this is enabling this t0 and this is running for 2 second and after 2 second it is turning on my m1 and m1 is resetting this counter so this is how you can use this counter of function in the gxworks3 and you can you can program uh, as per your requirement so if you like the video please hit a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and uh, please share with your friends so that uh, i can also gain some of the views thank you thank you very much